in that stone gaze, as you mentioned. It's a lot of AoE that can come out in these engagements. They're going for it. Deep dive. They know Crystals is somewhere around here. They found him now. He's going to pop the stone gaze, but he's kind of blocked in here. Miracle will actually tank the stone form in exchange for trying to block off. him out. The ice shards actually push them along. They need a little bit more damage. Oh, he got some pearl strike. An attempt to chase after Crystalis. The slow is still there. Now that ice blast and Miracle's dead. Myth. All in on Crystalis. GH is committed, but he doesn't have the damage. Crystalis survives through it all, and they got my control. What a turn from Entity SVG, you said it perfectly. You do not want to overcommit into Ice Blast and Tombstone. Enigma Galaxy yeah, did just team that. playing that right hand side, it's making GH. sure they don't get caught. GH would be a very good pickoff. They want to be able to deal with these uh, these saves if possible. Crystalis Shard is beginning to become a little annoying here. A second lane of range barracks, perhaps my control just kind of blinking forward and doing some damage. They're gonna try and burn out this Aegis. Now for the second life, Nigma. He's locked. They're in. actually gonna go for it. ILTW immediately jumps in. Snowball able to dodge the ice blast. That was a smart play for the Stone Gate. Still gonna be able to go off, and ILTW has to be able to reset. They cannot fight into this Dusa, Dusa. who is raining down arrows upon them, and ILTW gets swept up by the wave as Chrysalis is able to chase Nigma him down. Here. Mass buybacks. Miracle's gonna die here as well. ILTW, one last play from him, but it's going to be what? A five position on dying kill? Is that all you're gonna get? Not even close. A rampage for Chrysalis. Make it a double, serve up a triple, Crystalis wipes out he Nygma. Somebody it doesn't sound amazing. This is a very cool play from Stormstorm. As long as he doesn't get caught, but maybe he has been. He has the BKB. gem, BKB goes off. He's got Fishman on the other side. I think. try and grip him here. Yeah, they're actually setting up for this Templar Assassin with the Aegis. They're going to try and burn through that real quickly and then maybe get out. Or, oh no, the silence, BKB, he throws out the black hole. He's going to be able to grab two members inside of it with the refraction not being up. Miracle gets bursted down on ILTW. He's going to come up next. My control is trying to chase down people, but Chrysalis, he is zooming around the map, picks up a triple kill, and now they can focus on the Death Prophet. Mind control, I don't know if he could do it alone here, but they this are. Invoker seems way too hard to catch him. ILTW, you're already dead, it looks like. Yeah, every once in a while, they just find a free kill. A lot of time. Oh, did he try to catch Fishman? Okay, the Wind Waker, Wind Waker does break him away for the Fiend's Grip, but there goes, lands right back into the black hole, and everybody he from lived. Entity is staying alive. Miracle, oh, he got the blink out! He's actually saved by the ultimate in the spells. time lapse, but he can't get away. He's still stuck in there as there was too many weapons in the toolkit there for Entity as they dive in deeper. They have to buy back and try and reclaim that Divine Rapier. Meanwhile, Mind Control is running down Toby at least. Katomi's done a little bit of damage as well as Mind Control is building it up. The Bloodseeker has that Divine Rapier and he's keeping it safe for now. See with the Jukes. Miracle's back and he wants his Divine He back. really wants it back and they're going to be able to take the first life of this Bloodseeker. Can they kill him a second time here with a Melt Bash? It's looked like they might be able to set up for it. He actually jumps away. The bash thrown out by Crystal. He pops the cheese, though. He's closing in on Miracle. He's got to keep his distance with the trap. He's setting up, turning around. He's disarmed. Oh, no. Here comes Toby again. The Midnight Pulse, and they're burning through him, and it looks like by control. He's going to have to do it by himself now, but he's caught the Fiend's Grip. Another round for the Bane, and that is going to be... How many oh. outside the pit? Entity currently with the advantage with his high ground ward. Toby. He's going to start the jump. They're in straight away with the bow strike. Chris Lish with the follow up avalanche, but Superman's able to put the BKB. They've lost Zyke. Chris Lish trying to get away from the Medusa. Fiend script lockdowns there from Insania. Boat follow up from Mika coming down, but Chris Lish is already able to get the BKB off. The loose Storm Stormer. Chris Lish with the toss and takes down Insania. Buybacks coming out from both sides. Christmas continuing to try and fight on as he turns over towards Mickey. Toby's in with the disarm on the Tumba Man. X mark into the torrent as they're focusing this tiny, but Christmas is getting healed up by the miscoil of Fish Man. Toby's keeping Matthew control on the back of it all. Christmas he gets the triple, and he's not done yet. He's ready to go for more. Turns his attention over towards the Tumba Man, who's been silenced. Controlled again by Toby with the forest strike. Ultra kill for the tiny. Christmas he wants to keep going, but Zai's in with the BKB the arena. The Heat Blade is going to keep Christmas protected. So Mickey and Zai, they can't finish off the kill. Christmas turns over towards Mickey, chasing him down. He's looking for that rampage, but Mickey turns oh. the turret. Doesn't matter. Mickey still goes down. This entity keeping one another alive there, and the fight's not over yet. Zai, he bore back for this, but they've caught him under the tower. Double kill for Kataomi. As it's it's a team wipe plus more there with the two deaths on Zai. This game turning tiny into further stone probably isn't too productive, but no, I'd like Medusa to have Ooh. the ags. Entity's coming out. They're going for it. Oh, they're killing the they harpy. The harpy. That's oh very early BKB. BKB. So he's he's gonna have to chill out now. 
He has refresher and quick bite. Christmas right? has chased him. Oh. Now that the BKB has been used, Entity want to try and go for this now. We'll turn over the arena. The Cataclysm, Anthony, well, the meatballs just coming down on the Medusa. He's been disarmed for now, so Matu can't turn and fight back. They've got the toss up. They're burning Matu pretty low. Again, the disarm's just really rendering this Medusa completely useless for now. He's out of mana as well. Matu's got to be cautious. As Chrysalis, he's stepping back in. Chrysalis, grip. he's held back by the grip. He needs help. Is anything from Fishman? And there's the shield just in time. Keeping Chrysalis alive. Healed up as well by the Mist Coil. They'll get Chrysalis pretty much back up to full HP. Matu, another Mystic Flare coming crashing down onto his head. He'll be hit, get, get another burst of mana for the Keeper of the Light, but he's still being surrounded. Good the spear from side. Locks down Chrysalis. Deafening Blast again, pushing back the Medusa. Matu just can't attack. He'll put the, the, the Mansa style, the arena from Zai holding back Chrysalis from him, but Matu will oh. still fall. Toby's back in with the Burst Strike and the Sandstorm. There's triple kill for Toby. He's going to keep it going. They're over towards Midgate. Midgate slapped down by Chrysalis. Chrysalis jumps over the back. side. He's ready to chase for Boxing Matuma Man. This is a tiny, ready to go for more as he's on top of Matuma Man. Matuma Man, he needs help but he's lost two of his heroes, both Mickey and Insania down for two minutes. Zai desperately trying to bail him out of this. He's got the BKB back up, pops the Satanic, but without the Rapier, does he have enough damage? He's trying his best, Crystalist. Still, he's just getting constantly sustained by Fishman. They can't kill this Tiny. Matsu's surrounded. You'll see Boxing slide himself away, but Storm Storm is going to be in with the catch. Jumps up, Tornado to finish him off. Matsu all on his own as Entity. They've got everybody up and ready to clean him up as well. As Liquid, Whoa. everybody dead, multiple buyback shoes. The, the lack of damage they have, fighting into you know, four lives, technically. Oh, there we go. They try for the smoke, but Brain's standing right next to them. Going to have the jump over Nabito straight in two shots, Katsuomi. A buyback will come out immediately from the sky. Storm Stormers going to turn over towards the Wraith, keep trying to control them. The BKB's out from Toby and Crystalis. As they're trying to run, okay, Chrysalis is going to try and fight here. Back into 11, but 11's running away with the BKB. Healed up by the missed call. Chrysalis, he has enough damage, though. Double kill for him on the Bloodstick. He's cleaned it up. He's got he a triple. It. He's going to look for more. Desire's up in the trees. Oh, fight. Back in action. We're getting another team fight going. The jump's there over towards the bane, but Toby's in with the counterplay. Comes in with the two-man bow and try. Chrysalis is ready to go over the BKB. He's going to go for 11 first. Down on top of the Death Prophet. The Death Prophet's down. Now over towards the Wraith King. The Ancient Seal comes out to stop any sort of stun. That's him down once. He'll be back for round two. The Grips come in there from Fishman. Controls the Pugna. Three dead on Brame. None of them with buyback available either. They're going to be able to clean up Spartan as well. Has that AC and it's magic in here. Oh, the Focus Fire with that setup. Shackle shot. Oh my goodness. Crystalis is dead again. Well, the tables have turned. Winner, no? Indeed. Does have buyback, but Spartan will die again. There's nothing stopping them now. They, they Indeed. Finally got the lead back again. It was an 83% chance that Brain was going to win this. Oh, there it is. Aegis is gone now, though. We got the Reality Rift into the Phantasm. TA is going to have to buy back. That's one death for Raid King. You see the Soulbind onto two, and TA right-clicking from afar, trying to take out Stormstormer. They have to nullify. This is going to be enough now that he doesn't have Aegis. Three buybacks, though, from Brave to try to defend this Rax. Focusing on Chrysalis, who has a double kill to start. Back into the fray, onto TA. This will be a dieback, but gets off that refraction at the last moment. But Death Prophet's in the vicinity, and that is going to lead to a triple kill for Chrysalis. Four dead for Brame, and that should do it, ladies and gentlemen. Entity will take this two to zero. Look at the uh, damage over time stacks going. You are on fire, all caps. Roshan, what are you going to do about it? Not a darn thing. Although the smoke is pretty good to interrupt this. Chrysalis with the BKB can shrug off the static storm. A beautiful ice bath catches four heroes. Chrysalis is going to immediately dispatch a Spartan. Wish trying to turn. He's going to get roared as he's LSA stunning up Toby. So that the stun duration is wasted. Chrysalis, after cleaning house, is going to turn back to finish off the Lena. Stormstormer onto the Willow. He will go. And, oh, that's GG. That's it. They're out of here. 11, he's going to farm yeah. some more ancient. Into the breach, this opening that they really want in terms of how to play the map. I like that they're defending this too. This should go well for them. So they're going to do flame break, not back on symmetrical. They'll come out with the self astral. They'll try and go for the eclipse. Fishman's just going to throw himself right in on top of the Luna. Odi will fall. The Luna as well. Tanner charges in, but they've already lost two. They'll go in with the combo of the Void Sprints. They'll kill Storm Stormer, but it's cost them three heroes. Maybe more here if Crystalis can get his hands on Tanner, and he can. The Eye of the Storm hits, come out. Triple killer for Crystalis. And Zantic also having a head back. A four for one trade. Sure.
you have to do something, though. Yeah, yeah. You need some counters, right? And this, like, the Scotty on Razor or Sheba's or whatever will take forever. Rolling Thunder in the center from Stormer. Link immediately. Oh, he got stuck there, though. But he still got put into fear. Static Storm to defend, and Storm Stormer's dead. As they did silence up the time door. He could be in trouble. Blood right. Is that going to be enough to kill him? It will be. As Crystal joins the fray. Actually turns to the middle there, and he's going to destroy for Pablo. Gorg has been ruptured, so he can't run away as easily. Oh, sorry. Comes to the Ember there. As Gorg is being finished off here by the final waveform. Glimpse not even needed. As they also killed EIX.